What is up, everyone? We are back with another episode of Mars Horizon. This episode is episode 8. Last episode, we left off landing the first man on the moon. And then right at the end, we started our last research of the supplementary SRBs. So for this episode, we're going to head and start off and go ahead to the next event. Or actually, first we should look at our active missions. So we do need to get the space station payload. So we need to get the money for that, which we should get that in the next several months. And our research for the SRBs are complete. And so now we can select a new research. We'll probably stick with the vehicles for now because we want to be able to get as much vehicles as we can to make those as cheap as possible. And so we have one booster, one upper stage, and one supplementary. We're just going to go ahead and select this upper stage. Well, actually we're going to go with this booster here first. We're going to go ahead to next month. And that booster is now complete, so we're going to go ahead and get... So since we did complete everything in Era 2, we did unlock the additional contractors. Now we're going to go ahead and get the Delta, or the Centaur D upper stage now. So since we did land the first man on the moon, we have a bunch of science coming in for the next little while. So while we have a bunch coming in, we can go ahead and complete these um, upper stages, lower stages, and supplementaries since they don't have as much to them. And now we also should have the money to build the space station as well. But now our commercial satellite is ready for launch. And this should get us some money to be able to do a lot of things. It is a rainy day, so depending on the amount that we have, we may have to postpone it. Since it's only 8%, I think we're going to go ahead and continue with the launch. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. It's at 2%. Oh. Well, we're definitely not getting the money from that. Oh, great. <laughs> the Titan 2 goes up by a single level, even though it exploded. And we lost 125 support. Hmm. That that really stinks. We were supposed to get a bunch of money for that. Well, now I think we'll go ahead and start researching the space shuttle vehicle. Cause it should, yeah, it does have a bit more to it than these ones. So I wanna go ahead and get that one out of the way first. But at least this next month we have, well first we're gonna go ahead and build the payload for the Skylab. And this next month we should start making a little bit more money per month from the budget review. We went up by two whole tiers to now we are making 560,000 per month. So we do have some requests. First, I think we'll need 
to go look at our base and see what we need to build. I believe we still need to build one of the astronaut. Yeah, if we want level 2 astronauts, we first have to get the... We may be building... We don't really care for the minus 10% vehicle build time. It won't affect us too much, but we do want the level 3 astronauts. Let's go ahead to the next event and see where we're at. So the space shuttle research is complete. It may be time to go ahead and start. Yeah, to even use the space shuttle, we'd need to build the space plane runway, which means we'll need one of these first. Do we want the mobile launch platform or the water sound suppression? I think first we're going to go ahead with the mobile launch platform to decrease costs. So we're going to go ahead to the next event once again. Venusian Volcanology. Whilst mapping the northern hemisphere of Venus, your Mariner 8 probe has discovered numerous immense shield volcanoes. Ancient volcanic flows appear to dominate the surface of the planet, with the probe reporting lava channels thousands of kilometers long. We gained 400 science. China has approached your agency, Buzz Corps, to offer their Mars orbit research in return for a suitable donation to their space program. There is no way that they are ahead of us on that already. And we'd have to give them 1,000,000 000 units. So we're going to reject that offer. topography vehicle complete 10% payload reliability but emission trainus training bonus reduced by 50% per month I think we're gonna go ahead and set it to science and it will take a lot longer to get up to 25 so I think we're just gonna settle with October with 12 and a half percent for now we're gonna go ahead and confirm that. There is no way Mars is ahead, or China is ahead of us on the Mars orbit. Yeah, they have they haven't done anything. No one's done anything for the Mars orbit. Actually, if they think they're gonna get ahead of us, I think what we're gonna first do. complete this Mars orbit research. We'll go ahead to the next event, which will be our Skylab completion. Payload is complete for the Skylab space station. So next we have to design our vehicle. So now that we've done shuttles, we can build shuttles that will cost more at the beginning, but over time should cheapen. We'll name our first shuttle the Resolute. And we have enough money to confirm the build for that. We'll look at the contract and see if we get anything. Oh, uh, we are already at 98% launch reliability and 99% payload reliability. So we really want to increase the cost. Decrease the cost at a rate at for losing support, we don't want to do either. Decrease the time, still lose support. Yeah, none of these are very helpful, so we're just going to stick with ourselves as a contractor. Confirm. We begin building the vehicle. So we did fail the commercial satellite, so I think we're going to go ahead and try that once more. with the standard 
payload. Go ahead and do that since we have enough money. And go to the next event, which should hopefully... So it's the Earth Topography mission is ready. 94% launch reliability and 99% payload reliability. Looks like a clear day. With good conditions, that knocks our critical failure down to 1%. Perfect trajectory. Titan 2 goes to level 5, and Delta also goes to level 5. For this one, we're going to go ahead and let it auto resolve. It shows when you auto resolve, it gives you a percentage of what will happen. So the outer resolve was a success. And so now we should have an open mission slot. Which I think we're going to leave open for now to possibly allow for the Mars orbit. Now since the Mars orbit is complete, we can begin this mission. From this mission, we will be the first if we do complete it. We'll gain on nearly 1300 support, nearly 4200 science, and we'll get 2% for Mars experience. So we'll go ahead and start building the payload for this. I think for this one, we're going to head and select the Mariner 8. It does cost a little bit more, but it increases our starting power by 3. We're going to build a payload for that. And so now we can select a new research. If we complete the research for this Mercury orbit, that'll decrease our payload build time by 20%, which I think is worth it for only 960 science which we'll have by this next month anyway. So now since we completed that research, we have a minus 20% payload build time. And now we can go ahead and continue researching the mobile launch platform. We didn't gain enough to go to the next tier for our budget, that's okay. Our commercial satellite payload is now complete. So only our vehicle's upper stage reliability will count towards the launch reliability. So we'll have to select a good upper stage. Two that are 90%. The Saturn II for the DCS. The DCS we have not researched yet. So I think we'll go ahead and stick with the Saturn II. And the DCS also costs twice as much. And for our booster, we'll select the Saturn V. We will need to wait a little bit till we get the money to actually build it, but should get that in the next few months. And now our Mars orbit payload is also complete. 
So now we'll also want to design the vehicle for this. So this payload also came with only the vehicle's upper stage counts towards the launch reliability. So again, we'll have to select a good. So this time I think we will have to research the DCSS because it comes with the highest launch reliability. For the booster, I think since it doesn't affect our launch reliability, we'll select one that clears the weight but also is a level zero so we can actually get some so we can boost it up a little bit. So the Saturn V is also level zero. I think we'll stick with the Saturn V. We also are gonna have to wait a while for that. And I accidentally clicked off the so DCSS and then the Saturn V booster. And we're going to kind of confirm that. So we will we'll need to research this upper stage here. Now that the mobile launch platform is complete, we still need to research two more of these to be able to get access to the DCSS. Since they're all 1440, we'll stick with the two supplementaries on the right since they're the cheapest cost. Now we don't really have any money to build anything yet, so we're going to have to hold off on those. Hopefully once our commercial satellite is complete, we'll gain a bunch of money. for our commercial satellites. We'll go ahead and start that. We'll go ahead to the next event. Our space station vehicle is complete with up, uh, optimal and suboptimal launch window being reversed. So we'll go ahead to launch preparations. For crew, we'll go ahead and look at if there's any crew I think we'll stick with the electrician. And since launch reliability is already at 98%, we don't need the test pilots. So the electrician and the scientist. Go ahead and confirm those. Set the training on science since we get a bonus for science. And we'll set it the time for January. Select our research for the two times delta supplementaries. Go to the next month. Let's go ahead while we're at it and look at the Mars readiness. So it looks like we are the only ones that even un unlock the Mars progress. So we're at 6% experience and 50%, 15% expertise, but zero preparation yet. We'll go ahead to the next event, which will be the launch of our space station, and also at the same time we have a budget review. We want the launch for this to be as perfect as possible. So if there's any negative, we might want to move it since we did just fail the commercial launch. Couple months ago. So we have adequate conditions of 1%, which knocks our critical failure down to 1%. So we're going to head continue. With Five, this four, three, two, one.
15% off from a positive event, but that's okay. We're in the neutral zone. And our space shuttle rocket goes up one level, increasing its launch reliability by 4%. So we do have two crew, so for this objective it looks like we just need 13 navigation or 25. So we just need to get as much navigation as possible, essentially. So we'll go ahead and get the... here and then two here. We get a positive event for the flight path control, which gives us an additional data. And now we should have two orbital plane adjustments. First one's a success, and the second orbital plane adjustment, while well, it is low, is also a success. So we do have one data now still. So we're going to add and select one more here. And we're just going to select two power to get our power up. So for the remaining turns we should be able to get the navigation without needing any more power. And so now we should have enough to use one crew and then use two orbital plane adjustments to put us through the bonus. When we get to the top 10% gives us an extra calm which we don't really need but it's okay. So now into the orbital plane adjustment. Successful completion for the first one, and now for the second orbital plane adjustment, and we get a positive bit, which gets us an extra, extra navigation. So now the next task will be to deploy the space station systems. We need four comms, five data, and two navigation. Or seven and ten and four for the bonus. So we'll first start off with a signal attenuation test. We do need to get down to zero. So we'll go ahead and use that. We'll get to our bonus range. And last, I think we'll go ahead and use the signal attenuation test so we get an extra three so we can use it here to get three data and two navigation oh well, that was almost a failure at two percent And lastly, just signal attenuation test. And so now our drift is going to fluctuate between 1 and minus 1. And so now since we have the three extra comms, we can go ahead and use that to get three data and two navigation. And since we're in the the negative drift, we're going to add one drift to it. And then na lastly, we can go ahead and use one of our crew in electricity and up our power for our last move. Oof. 
external sensor alignment successfully completed. Visual spectrum sampling is good. And lastly, our flight path control. Which works out. So we don't want to do this one because we don't want to minus two drift and we don't want to actually we don't need, need any more comms hmm. so we have four turns remaining we need two more for the data bonus we have one extra comms currently so all we need is two data right now. If we use any of these, it puts us farther than we need. I think for the moment we do two of those and then just regain two power while we're at it. Manual data collection is good. And for the drift, we get minus one. So now, if we do that, that would be bad. So now we can go ahead and just use the power to get us above the data threshold. And we'll just go ahead and select two more power. Even though that doesn't really do anything for us. And the visual spectrum sampling is good. And the space station deployment has been achieved. And our Mars experience has gone up. Now two of our scientists will be on the space station for 12 months. So for our base, let's go ahead and look at what we have. On, we have the two times delta on the research. When next, we really need to be doing the space runway. So we'll go ahead to the next month to allow that to finish. And then now we'll do the space plane runway. And now that we have some money, I think we'll go ahead and build one of these. So we don't really care for the build time. So I think we'll go ahead with the mobile launch platform to reduce our vehicle build cost. And I think we're going to go ahead and put it right here to also get an additional minus two vehicle build cost from where it's placed. Doesn't really get us much anywhere else. So yeah, let's stick with here. that booster, but for now, I think we're going to deny the request. China is requesting the information from the success of our space station mission. We're going to deny that request. I think we're going to leave the episode off here with the finishing of our 
initial space station and with one having one of our satellites explode i'll catch you guys next episode on Mars horizon with episode nine thank you for tuning in peace out